and we're live sort of we're we're mostly ready to go <laughs> we're doing our best um <laughs> some minor technical difficulties as you can currently see yes <laughs> well we'll get there we'll get there um in the meantime we can get started talking yeah. about guns of the dawn by adrian tchaikovsky uh, which, yeah um, yes <laughs> i got it <laughs> this is my second time reading it so like uh, you know, I'm I'm exposing a vulnerable side here, saying not not just picking a book for book club, but being like, I like this book, and I think you will like it too, which is a little bit more pressure than I'm usually yeah. under. Yeah. So tell me how much you hated it. Just give it to me quick. <laughs> I gave it five stars, Leanna. We agree. Wow. <laughs> Wonder, wonders, miracle of miracles. <laughs> I really already know really Bethany did it. not, so this pleases me greatly. I did not. <laughs> but, but, like, let's say I, I probably have the same criticisms that Bethany and Mara will have. I just didn't care because I liked it so much. But I do see the criticisms. criticisms what have. criticisms? <laughs> the middle is so long and the end is so short. <laughs> I think there's so there's some pacing issues here. But uh, okay. I just like the characters and I like the story. And it's like, you know, it's Pride and Prejudice meets Napoleonic Wars meets Wizards. And look, like, all of that together just is like a recipe I like. So well, that's what I can say when I was like, screw it. When I was shilling for this book, is that like mm -hmm. it does kind of all of the things, so that like I feel like there's a good chance that anyone picking it up would be in at least in some part satisfied, because like it, you might feel dissatisfied because you want an entire book to be one of those things, but it does all of the things, so there'll be something in there that you like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't think anyone gave it below three stars, so. I'm counting success. I yeah, I think pretty good. Yeah, I this is like a three, three and a half for me. Um, I I like the project of this book. Like I like what it's doing conceptually, like being sort of what if a woman was drafted into war with like some magic on the side. I didn't always like like I'm not a big military fantasy person um <laughs> this is you know what you can be friends with all kinds of people it's okay um we agree I, about the important things exactly yeah you can <laughs> like different books that matter it's fine yeah. Yeah. yeah no but I I'm not a huge military fantasy person. And so I think for me, like the the whole kind of middle part of the book, I liked it a lot when it was focused on her friendships with other people and on the politics. And when we got peeks into what was happening in the wider world, but I was kind of bored by some of the more like fighting scenes just because I usually am. And I also wasn't fond of the romance. Honestly, I could have done without it. So hmm. that's... But it so, gave me Lizzie Darcy vibes. And I just read Pride and Prejudice for the first time last <laughs> year, and I'm still obsessed with it. So for me, it was like, it's like you know, scratching that itch. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually, I told uh, Alan this when uh, he, like, made me read it the first time. And then I was telling Bethany this as well, that, like, Darcy a bit, but more, it reminds me of Mr. Thornton from North and South and, like, their yes. relationship. Where, yeah. So I just literally pictured Richard mm -hmm. Armitage as Mr. Thornton as that character, <laughs> which helps a lot, I think. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be mad about that. Um, also, sorry for the camera issues, guys. I have no idea what's going on. But You're it's working here, out, so now. we'll just roll We're good. with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I gave it a three and a half. I was between a three and a half and a four. I think for the exact reasons Amanda said, I just felt like the middle was way too long for pacing. But it read really quickly, even though it was too long. So it didn't like make me resentful in the way sometimes things that I think are too long can mm -hmm. because I was still I got through this in a day like I just was oh shit <laughs> well I started the night before and then like polished it off the next day but I was um, a three day three day read for me yeah but I just I was into it I really I actually really liked that it was more sort of in the field and less political intrigue because I was expecting more political intrigue mm. but there wasn't as much of that and I actually kind of liked it I felt like it was a um it was examining what the actual experience of war is like and not the behind the scenes politicking of it and i just think i don't know that i've read a lot of fantasies that take that approach when it's a military fantasy yeah um the anyway, heroes by joe abercrombie does that well there you uh -oh. go uh, i don't think Betty's gonna like it after we, she gets this review of this book though <laughs> I, was gonna say, 
I got five minutes into this live before bringing up <laughs> Take a shot wherever, whoever's got their, their uh, gen out. Yeah. Um, so I actually kind of liked that approach. It was just, it was different. Um, I don't know that the romance was wholly convincing, but I'm just trapped. Like, I just like a romance as long as it's not bad. I'm, I'm down. I always am for a romance. So I was like, yeah, like I'm into this. He's, you know, kind of a Mr. Armitage or a, sorry, Mr. Thornton, so, Richard Armitage. Yeah. Like I my... it was giving that, I like the ending and I like the way I, well, I mean, sorry, I'm just monologuing now, but one thing I did like was the, um, the fact that she's the one at war and she's the one who has like, she's of, writing like, home she, to the she sleeps and, with somebody yeah. while she's yeah. off at war yeah. versus, and he's the one at home, like, pining for her like i just feel like that's not a dynamic i've ever seen before so i was like i'm that like and i it also like it didn't feel wild oats. it also even though it was like flipping that dynamic it didn't feel like the girl version of ghostbusters like it didn't feel like do you see what i did here i switched them and like it didn't feel aggressively like you know what i mean no yeah oh, well there was times where it did a little bit but that element i didn't feel that way about so anyway overall i feel like i'm be I, it's verging on a four but i just can't get over the fact that it's like too long in my opinion my yeah. friend who was reading it uh while she was reading it she was updating me because like she knew i'd read it before and she was like i hope that she doesn't end up with this with the mr thornton guy she was like i really like the other guy and i was like okay me keep, too. Keep that was how I, okay that was how i felt like i didn't i mean i didn't know that i needed them to be together either long term but i didn't like thornton i didn't like i didn't like the romance okay like, also I his just, name is thornton in this book if like what? if anyone is confused we're all just calling him thornton <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't actually, even remember what his actual name is. I don't remember. Is. I will say I wonder a little bit if his writing in particular just doesn't work great for me because I tried mm. one of his sci-fi Northway. books that people love and I DNF'd Northway. it because I just like couldn't. I just I don't know. So I think this is the one of these things where I'm like, I like what you're doing here. But like, I don't love his writing, to be honest. Like, it just it doesn't I don't. It doesn't, someone else said it feels emotionless. That's how I feel about it also. I'm like, I like this project, but like, I need more feeling. I don't know. Yeah, I could see that. Um, I guess it didn't, that didn't bother me. Um, that didn't bother me, but I can see that as a valid criticism. I mean, a lot of people love his stuff. So I like, it's, I think it's just for whatever reason, I don't know that I get on great with him. I agree with Derry. I would have, I wish that we had taken like a chunk out of the middle and had a more like aftermath extended yes. time. It was very, the, the middle is so long. And then the short, and then at the end, it's just like, yeah. Ever done. <laughs> and it's been a yeah. couple of weeks since I've read it, and I can't really remember what happens in that middle chunk, hardly at all. <laughs> Cause I just, Lots I mean, it's a lot, of, a lot of fighting in the swamp. Yeah. Just, oh, like, yeah. I mean, it's battles, like, the, battles, the swamp, battles, battles, battles. Uh, yeah. The swamp Attempted fighting kind break. of really, even though this is more seeming like Revolutionary War era, Napoleonic War era, like in vibes, the swamp fighting was very reminiscent to me of like trench warfare in World War One, where like, what ground yes. are you gaining and why are you trying to gain it? Yeah. So yeah. I liked that. Yeah. I like the themes of like the meaninglessness of war and, you know, Empire. people think they're fighting for yeah. one thing, but is it really? I mean... Yeah, like yeah. on paper, I like a lot of the things this was doing. And yeah. even the I parts heard, yeah. of it like yeah. that are dealing with um, sexism, I think were, again, they weren't like that. I was just talking to somebody else about this, about how we hate when books, uh, just, they deal with sexism by having some man say, you are a woman, therefore you are stupid. And you're like, how dare you? I am. And you're just like, sexism is much more hidden and insidious and subtle. And if you like display it like that, then like when people say, well, feminism doesn't need to exist anymore because no one is literally going around saying women are stupid. And you're like, that's because that's not how sexism works. So like, I like that when books like this mm -hmm. deal with it with more nuance, you know, where you see like there's, there is still, even though there's women who are being drafted, there is still sexism and the way that's handled it like it was really good. Like Hello. violent patriarchy isn't necessarily like a random guy attacking you in the street. It's dude thinking that he's about to die and being like hey you're a convenient womb i'm going to put a baby in you whether you like it or not like that i mean yeah. i was like yeah do I, your I civic was... duty woman be a vessel yes. for my seed and the fact that he was shocked by the fact that she would not was keep not a pregnancy <laughs> and he was like what who would do that i'm like dude 
Yeah. 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 Although I did like when all the women first showed up at the front and the, like one of the commanders is like, all right, these are soldiers. If you rape one of them, I'm going to take you up back and shoot you myself. So I did kind of like that because it was just like, yeah. oh, wow. Someone's actually dealing with sexual assault in the military in a, in a way that's definitive. Great. <laughs> that well, I also like that it's life. not <laughs> coming from altruism. It's coming from pragmatism of like, yeah, guys, we need soldiers. So like, yeah. I need you to, I know you want to do this, but like, you just can't for you pragmatic can't. reasons. Yeah. If you do it, I'm going to take you up back and shoot you. And, I was and like, also, with it, hey. it also handled <laughs> classism in the fact that rich families were mostly sending their servants and that like she yeah. was one of the few yeah. that went but then the lower classes still took their anger out on her and she's like i came and they're like whatever like we can't yeah. you know beat up yeah. our masters so you're here that's that works for us <laughs> yeah I think all of what this is making me realize is like, I think I really like his ideas and I just don't like his, like, I don't enjoy his writing. Like, I love mm. all of what you're saying and I love those ideas objectively, but like, I just don't have fun reading his writing. Mm. That's you know exactly think, how you feel. You know? It's so interesting because usually yeah. you and I are opposite on that. Yeah. Like, usually <laughs> I can't overlook the writing because of just for the ideas. So. It doesn't happen that often, but like, every yeah. once in a while, there's somebody that I, for whatever reason, it just... Yeah. yeah, yeah. I did. I did actually tab something. I never tab, and I made a tab. Yeah. Read it, it out. Look at me, guys. It's just I feel like it like summed up a lot of the stuff. And it was when he she was talking to that doctor, Doctor Lamb. Oh yeah. And he says the march of progress, Lieutenant Marshwick. He said, "I'm a man of progress, a scientist, and an engineer, and yet I look upon this and ask." What has this war made of us all? My country will never be the place it was and no more will yours. Who's the winner then? Like, who's winning this? We both just destroyed each other. So I feel like that's like one of the main themes of the book and it was like summed up nicely. So I, I tabbed it. Yeah. yeah. Look at me, tabbing well, something. I think that also <laughs> does tie into like the propaganda. Yes. That was yeah. also handled well where like, and I mean, there is that in war where you're like, many times in history, people have not been permitted to write home and say what's really going on for this mm -hmm. exact reason yeah, and then yeah. also the fact that like when she's finally confronted with the enemy it's not just propaganda about that we're winning the war but we need to draft literally everybody and you're like how can we be winning and how can that also be true yeah but right. there's also the lies about the enemy which are also mm -hmm. like the way you get people like it's practical to make them angry at who they're fighting like you want to go into battle angry wanting to kill them thinking they're monsters but when she's confronted with the other side and they're like they think that her side you're like you just keep fighting you just keep sending more people even your women are fighting <laughs> and she's like are we the baddies <laughs> <laughs> am i the bad guy yeah yeah. Uh, yeah yeah well and i i liked that um I, I like the way that that ended up. Like, I like the way that the war ended. I thought that that made sense and supported the themes. But just, again, I'm, I guess, opposite of Leanna. I don't want people to suffer. So I was really relieved that her brother-in-law lived. <laughs> I was really worried the whole time that he was going to get off. Which I Why also do you thought make it sound like I was rooting for him to die? <laughs> pain and suffering, so I just assumed. But I did think it was realistic. It was very like World War One, where it's like, well... All the people in that rank have died. So I guess now you're this rank. Like, congratulations yeah. on your new promotion. Like, yeah. it just kept happening. And I was like, oh, no, brother-in-law. Like, come on. I need you to make it through. I mean, like, her brother already died. So I feel like it would have been... I mean, exactly. okay, it's not I that he like, could... They could have had the brother-in-law die as well. But, like, I just felt like she'd had her death. So, like, I know. Everyone else I know. gets well, to live. They best friend, like, in the first yes. fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, in the first chapter of the I book. Was, so you're but like, like oh, had, oh, might have this character. <laughs> I hadn't had that much time to, I think the her dying was sort of like an initial, like, this is real. People will, like, don't mm -hmm. expect this war to have plot armor. People will die. She mm -hmm. just died. Yeah. But also, I feel like I was, because we had more time with her, um, what's his name? Who was, like, into that actress? And then uh, yeah, the other she died. Lieutenant. Oh, yeah. That was really yeah, sad. Yeah. That was really sad. Yeah. Yeah. She keeps getting promoted like sharp on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> I do think it's an interesting choice to have your main character be on the losing side of a war. Yeah. Also, because yeah. I don't think we get that very often either. I just think he made a lot of interesting choices and I feel like probably intentionally trying to flip what you would typically see in this type of book. Yeah. Also, you're apparently wrong about the pros, Bethany. Sorry. <laughs> Look, <laughs> people like different things. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, I um, mean, I, I'm s sad that I didn't like this more because I was expecting this could be a four and a half or a five for me. But um, yeah. I do think it's a really good place for people who are intimidated by epic fantasy to try. Or military because, fantasy. Or military fantasy. Yeah. Because it's very readable. Like, even if you don't love the prose, it does, I think, read pretty quickly. Yeah. There's not a ton of, like, made up names you got to keep track of. Like, the the world building is pretty directly inspired by Napoleonic Europe. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this would be a recommendation I'd add to my list of like, if you want to start with fantasy, this might be a good It's one. also a standalone. Stand so you're not like, yeah, yeah. 14 books. books oh, later. no. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. mind another book, though. Like, the ending is pretty, like, hey, <laughs> that's a big ending moment. Like, yeah. what happens now? Like, yeah. you know? Maybe There's we could like, see her and what's-his-face's kids, like, in the next round of war. It could be, like, like the World War II oh, version. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's, like, barely magic, too. So it's, like, kind of fantasy. There's very few I was actually going to ask now, like, we've yeah. kind of talked about war, but, like, what did we think of the magical aspects of this book? I would have liked more. Yeah, I would have yeah. too. I don't really understand how it worked. Like the king had magic and then he gives it to wizards and then they I feel they like it's like deputizing them. It feels yeah. like he's deputizing. Like yeah. knighting them, maybe. It doesn't but, like totally with like make... fire magic. <laughs> but it also yeah, that doesn't, doesn't make magic. a ton of sense. Like it, it's yeah. it's a little unclear. Like, is it because doesn't it go away when he dies? So is it like he's just He's just imbuing them with his imbuing own magic. Imbuing them with his own magic. Well, that's why I was saying well, it's like, like deputizing mm -hmm. them. He has like, yeah. instead of authority, he has magic. And he's like, here, you can use my magic on my behalf. Yeah. Which yeah, is but, an yeah. interesting choice, though, because then it so seems like. Why does only he it, have magic? Right? That's exactly. Yeah, like, that's like, the question. Yeah. That's they why he's explain king. it. But it yeah. seems yeah. like then True, it would but... like serve. Because <laughs> if it's something you're born with, right, it would like serve this idea of sort of like divine mm -hmm. Uh, right. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe Although, he's just a magical king. They did mention like something about like bloodlines being important because not everyone can like survive yeah. it. Where he's just like most of the time it needs to be mo noble families because they're all kind of related to the monarchy in some way. So it's just like the blood in them like, say, takes the magic better than like commoners. But then he's just like, hey, fuck it. I'm giving everybody magic yeah. at the end of the book. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is more how I, I liked that it was like kind of there, but like it wasn't really... There wasn't yeah. a lot of big magic. See, I feel they like if I don't problems. see, like if I, I feel like if I'm going to do that, then I'm just going to read like historical fiction or like magical realism, historical fiction. Like I'm not going to pick up a fantasy. Like if I'm picking up fantasy, yeah. I want more magic usually. Yeah. Now that you're saying that, Bethany, it does. It almost is like magical realism more than yeah. fantasy, which isn't a bad thing. It's just. Yeah, I didn't think about I was that. Say, I mean, like to write a story that takes place in a world that is not our own. Does that necessitate magic? Like, if you wanted to tell a story about different countries, a different conflict, and a different war, like, if you're saying you have to write about our world or you have to have magic, like, I don't like that that would be a requirement. No, because, like, mm. alternate history is a thing or, like, speculate. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to. I'm just saying, like, personal preference. Like, if I'm picking up a fantasy story, like, I prefer to have more magic. Like, if I'm I, looking for yeah. something that feels like historical fiction without magic, I would just probably read a historical fiction or a classic. I don't know. Yeah. I would I just like fire magic. So like I would have just like <laughs> I just would have liked more of it, it in this particular fun. case. Agreed. But agreed. Simple yeah. pleasures in life. <laughs> yeah. I mean I I'm a sucker for like dragons and fire and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. all of this was very vague. <laughs> not nothing also well, i think part of it right is because it's all from her perspective so it's very mm. narrow in what mm. you know like you don't see much outside what she's going through you don't know things that she wouldn't be thinking about which like you know from like a writing per it's an interesting choice um yeah. it's just it leaves a lot uncertain yeah but like you know that king also was quite the ladies man i'm like there has to be some bastards around you know what i mean oh, oh for sure 100 percent and I'm like, yeah. do you just get because you're related to that guy? Or does the king have to, like, give you the... I don't... We don't know. We're never going to no, know. No, no. <laughs> He's a real piece of shit. So who knows? I mean... Like, but all so, of a like, sudden, if some kid comes of age and they have magical fire powers, I was like, oh, shit. Guess who his dad was? Like, right. You know, yeah. Or her dad or whatever. So, like, or is the there, like, a vampiric back. ceremony they're supposed to undergo at death? I mean, like, I don't we know. don't really know. Who knows? So, so uh, I don't know how much, finish. like, Flintlock anyone has read, but, like... As far as I can tell, and I, my limited experience of Flintlock, which Curza seems to be confirming, that Flintlock fantasy just doesn't have that much magic. 
So yeah, Bethany, really this is your sign. Flintlock don't read Flintlock Fantasy. I mean, what is what maybe. is Flintlock uh, Fantasy? I don't really know. Well, this is Flintlock Fantasy. It means basically that like your fantasy world is like instead of like swords and sorcery, it has guns. Like, it but has, like early, oh. it's like early technology. Okay. Like, basically, like, it's the fact that like your world has progressed to the point where you have like cannons and guns and firepower. Like you have, and I don't mean magical. So fire. would like <laughs> steampunk be yes. part of like Flintlock? No, or yeah. magic, like magic-y steampunk, maybe. Kinda. I was gonna say steampunk yeah. is usually its own genre. Flintlock it's its is own. like <laughs> it feels. Flintlock feels like so. Like a lot of like uh, fantasy feels like oh, this is like historical medieval Europe, but Ooh. like Flintlock fantasy is like oh, this is like historical like Napoleonic War Napoleon. era Europe. Yeah. Okay. Get it. Yeah. I don't. I'm trying to think of like if I've read something that's Flintlock fantasy that I like loved. I don't know that I have. Well, so I think. Just, uh, like, the second era of Mistborn would be considered Flintlock. Yeah, I was that about feels to say more, that. But, okay, but that feels more like a western. It's like a like a buddy western, which feels different to me. It's a fantasy world with guns, which is basically what Flintlock. Okay, is. but it but it's, it's like an, a, but a it's, more American. It's more American of that era. Yeah. So like, like I enjoy. I think that's probably that it. Like I enjoy it as an Amer- more American western version. Oh, you're just anti Europe. <laughs> yeah. Wait, if you're from does, Europe. Bethany is Red Country? By Abercrombie, a flitlock then? Because don't they have guns in that? I don't think they have guns in it. It just feels like guns? it's a western, but like they. I feel like someone had a gun in it. Like we're getting into spoiler territory because there is kind of the advent of possibly like gunpowder. Oh but, like, yeah, well yeah, they're they don't they're at guns. the brink of like an industrial revolution. Yeah, Never mind. Yeah, I just felt like it had guns. But are you I'm actually? Wrong. They don't. I don't think they have in the Age of Madness. I think they like they have like cannons, but I don't think they have like revolvers yet. Yeah. Well, you'll get there. I think you and Bethany are having a readathon, right? We are. So you'll get there, Bethany. I am always having an Abercrombie. I mean, that's <laughs> all time. That's just Leanna's life. Not? She lives in. I don't know. If you oh, guys are doing, doing live shows, it, I I would want to go on for Red Country because it's actually my favorite Abercrombie. I don't think it's anyone else's favorite Abercrombie. <laughs> no, I, some people say it's their favorite, okay. but I feel like it tends to be people who really like westerns, and I'm like, I just don't. Like, like yeah. I like this better I than like westerns. Magic-y I don't like westerns. westerns. I like magic yeah. westerns. I've discovered too. like straight up westerns. Very rarely something I'm into, but like magicy westerns. Magicy westerns. Very much. I'm into it. Yeah. Same. Love them. Into that love them. So I love Red Country. Yeah. But yeah. Let me know. I would love okay. to talk about it. Yeah. No, we're doing it for the podcast. So when we get there, I don't, when are we reading Red Country? Like a while from now, probably May, pretty, June, pretty something like on. that. I don't know. Wait, it's like a wait. We're barely gonna be at Best Served Cold in uh, May. And that's so, after Best of Cold. Well, no, it's after, after the Heroes. Oh gosh, it's after the Heroes too. Wait, so anyway. I don't know. The, I don't remember the order. Well, we were doing the trilogy. Not to like derail this conversation, but we we're doing the trilogy, <laughs> and then skip a month, and then the standalones, right. and then skip a month. But I don't know what trilogy. order the standalones go in. Red Country is the last one. Yeah. Okay, so we're not doing it's- it till like July. Yeah. A while. So, but a while. It'll be a while. Okay. We'll get there. <laughs> Um, back to gu- Guns of the Dawn. Um, <laughs> nope, this is going on Abercrombie chat. Sorry, Mara, okay. catch up. Sorry. Uh, so Abercrombie. question, I know, Bethany, I saw you put something about this in your review, so I didn't know if you wanted to touch on this. Yeah, me and Liana off, like, kind of had a chat about this, which hell was help. Maybe I should go and update my review after our chat. So, like, when I read this yeah so it's a little still unclear to me like how to interpret it so when I read this the way I read it was like okay the indigenous people like because they're talked about as if they're not like really human and so I'm like are they intended to be another species or something because that's not really explained but then I thought that the dude like what I understood which Leanna says is not accurate which she might may totally be right about this but like um but like when I was reading it what I thought it was saying was that the dude who was like the anthropologist had fallen in love with one of their women. And so I was like, well, if that's true, but Leanna says it was someone from the other side of the war. Yeah. It was the other side of the war. war. I don't, yeah. That, Which you, know I feel who else, you know who else says that was what happened? Adrian Tchaikovsky. <laughs> Okay. So I that, feel like so it'd like, be weird. Like they're they're obviously different species. <laughs> well, so that was, was, so. was that's what was confusing to me. Is I was like, because yeah. I interpreted it as like yeah. he had fallen in love with one of them, and I was like, this is an interesting take to make them not human. <laughs> so I feel better knowing that that's not what was happening, but I do still have some questions about like 
the choice <laughs> to make the indigenous people not human like i yeah. i feel like he didn't adequately and he's british so i feel like they also have a different relationship with indigeneity than americans do so part of it is that but like yes <laughs> it is when we talked about it like i was saying how it was just very since this whole thing has that like that like british like empire era of vibes that like it also felt like british early anthropologist vibes where like it was this in keeping with like that's what they went out and did and they had these people that were like interested in the natives and then went native and like it was very like yeah, that's the vibe. And you're not, that's, I mean, I don't think anything in the book is written in a way where you're supposed to condone everything that's going on. It's just like in keeping with. No, I just, I, you know, I, I, I think it's yeah. more just that in my head, I'm like, if somebody who is already anti Indigenous was reading this, they would use it as fodder to support their anti Indigenous beliefs. Does that make, because it's not really, really spelled out. I could see that. I mean, and I don't know mm-hmm. that he was, in, I don't think he was intending that because no. I agree with you, Liana, but like there's, it, like they're they're called not human and then that's not really explained um and we never get i don't know i didn't love it so i don't know that his intention was bad like yeah i assumed because magic you know that they're just like their own race of people because they also have magical creatures i don't know i don't i didn't really think about it but i do yeah now that now that you're talking about i'm like yeah that is kind of weird I just went like, okay, magic stuff. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't really thought about it, but when I read your review, Bethany, I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I can see like what John is saying. It, it fell into the mystical, mysterious others, which is a stereotype. I was like, yes. yeah, I mean that. Yeah, I mean, seems like a fair take. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, I think I do feel like if he had done more work to unpack, like what they are if they are a different species like maybe it could have been done better i don't know i just i didn't love that execution even though i don't think the intention was bad but i just yeah i took it more like they were having like interactions like if an alien came and then we spoke different languages that's why i got the vibe of obviously we're the aliens that's their home but like that's kind of what i yeah felt the vibe was with them well, prob- and that's what I think his intention probably was, because he does write that stuff. Like, he writes sci-fi where there are yeah. other species of aliens there. And so, like, mm-hmm. I think that's what he was trying to do. It's just that's that I don't felt. know. Yeah. But, like, I feel like if you go into this, I, I, like, I don't know that everyone would read it that way. So, yeah. yeah. No, there is a conversation to be had about it. It just, it felt very kind of like a sci-fi, like two different alien races talking to each other. You know, like in like Star Wars when they're in the canteen and they're obviously speaking different languages, but they both understand each other. Like that's mm-hmm. Yeah, I always like that. I got the vibe of. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah. It is their home. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh interesting. interesting. Kind of that's maybe a, like kind of like Faye. Yeah, that's an interesting yeah. that's interesting context. Cause I just think you read it read things so differently depending on your cultural background. So Yeah. Yeah. So I think like in to sum up, like was it like perfect in its depiction of this? No, but was it like egregious? Also no. no. It was like it was like uh, <laughs> that could have been better. That's kind of yeah. That's kind yeah, of right. It was also it minute. very much felt like sort of it was right up there with the magic in terms of this is not really what he's focused on. Like it's right. in there yeah, and it's like a true. feature of what's going on, yeah. but it's not the thing we're doing here. No. Yeah, it's definitely more focused on the war and on Emily's personal, like interpersonal slash political relationships. Yes, and also like passionate like letters from them. Mr. Thornton. <laughs> that those were some of my favorite moments. I liked his letter writing. So, so we should we circle back to the romance now that we're done talking about? Let <laughs> me see if I can find one of those letters because that was yeah. I, that was. Well, like, I, I would be most unhappy if you died. So don't. Do I that. I do think <laughs> that I am like much more. Like, Mara, I sometimes feel like I'm much more critical. Like, I love romance and I read a lot of it, but I also think I'm more critical of it sometimes than you are. Yeah, I think that's true. Well, so the reason, it, like, I think I have a level of like going with itness about romance that I don't know that you have, which is yeah. fine. It's just different. But like, this one works for me because I feel like the ending isn't like a romantic, we're off to get engaged and live happily ever after type 
ending. Like in the end, she like kind of chooses his side, but mm -hmm. in not in a way that's like, oh, all of his like, you know, everything he's done has been explained away and he's actually been perfect all along. And now that it's true love, I, that's, like, the I ending was like very that. like, I'm gonna, I, I can't deny that I have an attraction to you and I don't condone everything you've done. But you've never lied to me. And right now I'm choosing you right now. So it didn't feel um, like a forever yeah. love. Yeah, no, it, yeah. It, also, it made me think of um, in Shakespeare in Romeo and Juliet, where it's like when civil blood makes civil hands unclean. Like everybody, everybody is in the shit in this, and so like she's she's done shitty things, he's done shitty things. Mm -hmm. You're in a war, and like in a certain well, milieu, like people have just been there. Nobody's they, coming to this. They also more, like, like had to confront that yeah. like they've hated him because of what happened with their father, and the way that she confronts the fact that but my father also betrayed us in his own way, and yes. that like I I have been satisfied to like just it's much simpler for me emotionally to just my my father is the victim and you are the villain but yeah. to confront the fact that like it does is it the other way around is like actually like he the hero no he did bad things but like it was not that cut and dry and yeah no I, he didn't do it he didn't make the dad do what he did you know no i think this is a romance that I could get behind if there was a good film adaptation of it with actors who put more emotion with into Armitage. it. Yeah, I could. See, yeah, <laughs> because yeah. like I think that was part of it for me as I read it, and I was like, I just don't feel it <laughs> like at well, all. Okay, so, he's. So, I feel like, like I feel it from book, him, but no. I don't feel it from her. You know, well, like, that's the thing. Like in the beginning of the book, no, like I don't think they ever would have got together. It would have been a mess. But like when she comes back from war. She's mm -hmm. a different yeah. person. Yeah. yeah and in I this agree. thing, she's like, listen, I have murdered like a lot of people <laughs> at this yeah. point. Like, and you're just kind of like sneaky, like, you know, like we're kind of a pair at this point. So I think it's more of less of she's changed enough that she kind of has uh, a different moral compass to match his yeah. moral compass. It does seem begrudging on her part. That is exactly it. Where I was like, just stay single. Like, why? That was that because, was it. Like, because I got he'll, his. He'll do anything to find her, which I'm a sucker for. Okay, yeah. This is when it sold me. I agree. So he, he has he major Darcy her. vibes. I like it. Yeah. He, okay, so he's like, you must come back to me. Remember that. Make a note that you must not die. Like that. That I was yeah. like, okay, I'm into that. Well, even like when he <laughs> when she is missing and he writes and he's like uh basically like if you money. find her i will give you a shit ton of money he's like i promise you if you are able to locate the news of sergeant marshwick then neither you nor the man who finds that news will be the poorer for it if i were a hero i would set off myself if i were a soldier i would take up a musket if i were a wizard i would spark fires enough to burn the forest to the ground until i found her i am not i am a man of finances i use the tools at my disposal find her find my gratitude in largesse and maybe it's because He's i have an accounting <laughs> degree and i relate to like okay i'm not a fighter but like i can do I your got taxes. Buckets of money yeah i will give you some money and so like i that was i love I was that like, letter I'm too. Into this. yeah, yeah. Sure. like that but also, so like, I, like, okay. I feel like the part and it's pretty early on the part where like i was like this is mr thornton was like when she's first leaving for war and he is like horrified and she's describing how horrified he looks like he's the one that's going to war even though she's going mm -hmm. and he's watching her leave and it was just yeah. like that scene from north and south when when margaret's leaving and he's like look back at me look back at me and i was just like that's him right now that is yeah. wholly his vibe <laughs> yeah. you know what I probably although they worked just... in the hand scene when she touched his hand when she was leaving and i bet he's going like, like the darcy like hand flex <laughs> from 2005 i'm like he's doing it he's doing it like yeah <laughs> I think the thing is, like, I just never really, like, I, I never really liked him. I, like, I felt like he was kind of, man, like, uh, manipulative and, like, he was yeah. the only person she what, could talk to openly because of the way they were censoring her letters. And so, of course, there was, like, going to be some kind of an emotional, I don't know, I just, I, like, I, this is I how just people didn't... come together in times of war, Bethany, I like, guess. you yeah. know? I, know, I wanted I her, like... I, look, I just, I was, like, I wanted her to just, like, be single at the end. But and see, like, at the end, I don't read it as her. Why would you be her... single when you can be with your but she's romantic also... pairing? Because, because I don't, she, because I don't believe that yet. she actually was that into him. Like, it felt begrudging to me on her part, and I was like, if you're not into it, like, But they're not, like, engaged thing. or married at the end. She's just like, I'm choosing right now to save your life and to I, choose I hear you. and unfight, and, like, I am Loki into you, cannot deny. But that's it. I... Like, one thing is, like, yeah. and we will now be wed and be, for... like, she might not even marry him. They are for me. I mean, in my mind, they 
there making some morally gray babies right now. I feel like, you know, committing regicide is a pretty much like, <laughs> hey, like, let's go date kind of situation. It's not like, oh, you know, I like threw my tea into this guy's face. It's like, no, yeah. I like killed a guy. <laughs> so I feel like that's a bit of a good commitment. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> because mm -hmm. that that was more yeah that was kind of more how i interpreted it yeah interpreted absolutely. it um which was okay magic guy like yeah we we will go to pound town like we're magic kind of, guy and know, thornton they don't actually yeah. they have names in this book but <laughs> i don't remember them but we're two ships in the night like you know we will take comfort <laughs> from each other's bodies while we're in this fucking swamp like we'll we'll do that but then when she gets home she's like okay i have seen some shit and I actually want to be with somebody who like can live with the fact that I've seen some shit. You know what I mean? Like that, that was kind of how I took it. But again, I'm just a yeah. romantic at heart. So like, I just want That's people fine. to be together. Like I'm, well, I've got my two Barbie dolls and I'm like pressing their mouths together. That's well, just I was also telling Bethany that like one of the things that like, which is why I almost, even though I guess this would be enemies to lovers, but like, it's a different kind of enemies to lovers. Like to me, an enemies to lovers where there, there's like a great deal of like, distrust and animosity and like they're truly like i don't know but like here the fact that their relationship is entirely founded on honesty that he's like i have never lied to you i will never lie to you it's because i tell you the truth that you hate me that like that i'm just like all right i'm on board like because yeah at, at the very least like you have this core of like i i don't know if i approve of what you do but i can trust you like mm -hmm. that whatever you tell me is the truth and that you won't mm -hmm. Because like if if it had been yeah. her little sister, whatever her name is, the one that's kind of like um Kitty and or not Kitty, uh what's her face? Lydia uh, Lydia Pride and Prejudice. Yeah. I wouldn't have bought them together. Do you know what I mean? The same way that I wouldn't buy Lydia and Darcy together. It it they have two different journeys and personalities. Her personality mm -hmm. to me was like she of her sisters is the one who is the closest to being a like kind of cynical realist and so it makes more sense to me that she could go on a journey that would make her end up with Thornton yeah I see it like again I think a good adaptation of this with actors where I bought their chemistry I could get behind it I just yeah. I can like, see that yeah also Kaz is just licking her butt taking a bath <laughs> but she's so pretty <laughs> Mine is also doing that, but it's. I'm it's sorry. I was just. Around. I couldn't. I was trying my best not to laugh really loud. <laughs> also, this is. This is. I mean, this is kind of also funny. <laughs> like, if they didn't describe Northway always as pale and awkward in Undertaker clothing, it would be more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you yeah. know, not wrong. So this is what I'm picturing. Never had a Thornton crush on an emo looks. boy, and it shows. Okay? It's like, or like, hey, Professor Snape. <laughs> romantically uh, yeah <laughs> i'm just like i was picturing like an emo scene kid as but like older <laughs> toby mcguire when he went yeah. through his black yeah. spider-man exactly <laughs> <laughs> that face oh yeah i wish alice had so died when it's way harsh tie it's like it's like a timothy chalamet but goth you know, after after I went hard after Timothy Chalamet a few months ago, some people sent me some like pictures of him in, in more alluring yeah. photography or lighting or whatever, and I was like, okay, like I can kind of I can get this. Yeah, mm. not for me, but I, I just feel very I feel very me. motherly towards Timothy Chalamet. Like I he's think so he's little. A I want to feed him. Can I just give him a plate of food? Like, I just want to feed him. I, 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 I turn into an Italian grandmother. And it's like, oh, I'm you're like, too skinny. Eat. <laughs> well, like, there's like these videos, you know, where he's like doing, he's saying something oh. clever or showing off his French. And and there's like the comments are like, swoon. And I'm just like, I'm so proud of you, little man. Like, you're so clever. <laughs> Top of your class. I like you. Good job. <laughs> well, we're all grown up adults, too. Yeah, so, like, that's I feel difference. like, like he, although he actually is a grown up adult, too. He just he looks like a baby. He's like 27, I think. I was going to say, isn't he, he in like his late 20s now? He's in his, late 20s. in his late 20s. He is. is he? he just looks like a baby. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. still. I think he's like 27. I was going to say, like, he's one of those rare actors, like, when you put, you know, late 20s early 30 year olds in teenager mm -hmm. roles and everyone's like oh it's unbelievable except except for except him for him holland where you're like i buy it it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like, dating Zendaya, he actually I looks just like a teenager this. so you just learned this 
Yes. TikTok just told me this the other day. I'm not Apparently in on... TikTok doesn't keep you up to date as much as you think it does. You know what? I, 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 probably, I probably have known because I follow a lot of the Marvel creators on TikTok. I don't, so like... Yeah, I don't follow any of that stuff. So I don't, yeah. I'm not a Marvel watcher. So I, I'm not a Marvel watcher, but Instagram informed me of all of the times they've been spotted together and how cute that is. <laughs> hey, look, I do know Pete Davidson is having a moment. I'm not totally out of touch. I'm just I, saying yeah, I don't keep I don't, up with a lot of celebrity that I things. That also don't understand he like, has I just, to have I like know. the biggest dick i've ever that's seen, exactly what i think every time oh i see a headline amanda is i'm like how okay, big so like, how good is, how big is like, this dick like, it must be big and he must know how to use it like that I really that like is my thought pete davidson like on snl like i think he's funny but mostly he reminds me a lot of my brother and my brother hates Pete Davidson, so I can never tell him. I mean, I have told him and he hates it. But like, I'm always like, whenever I see him, I just like, I'm pleased because he reminds me of my brother, which is like, if like people are talking about his, his big dick and like all of these like ladies he's with, I'm just like, I don't know anything about your brother's situation. I just know that Pete Davidson must be. But also, it. speaking yeah. of like pale, consumptive looking people, Pete Davidson. Yeah. Oh my gosh. yeah. <laughs> it's pale like, what deal with the devil did he make? <laughs> like, I don't oh, know. Oh man. Who, yeah. How is he slinging this dick all over town with these Look, like, I think they are like, the, like the extent of my interest in like pale consumptive people is Loki. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I've had crushes on emo scene boys, so like I can kind I get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know. But I was also an emo scene girl, but like I don't have them now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like I for like this it hasn't been the case for a while, but like I feel like an the yield uh or the 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 uh, what's the progenitor of the genre of being into like pale consumptive boys was uh ben I wishaw like and i never i always liked ben wishaw as an actor and like i never understood why like my friends and roommates were just like oh he's so hot and i'm like he looks like i could snap him on my knee like how is that hot i don't understand <laughs> You know, I think uh, Twilight has to be some people's uh, cons pale consumptive. Uh, but okay, but Robert Pattinson, I could not story. snap on my knee. I mean, I'm that is also true. Yeah, I was also never into Robert Pattinson. I didn't his face get it. Is very but flat, he's very and pale. it bothers me. He's like he's so. Pale. Pale. It looks like he ran into yeah, a board. Right. It's I so am very hyped. He's also kind of like um, Russell. What's his name? Russell Crowe, who kind of looks like a thumb. I feel like Robert, Robert Benson is kind of in that same, just like. I think the Honest trailer refers to Robert Pattinson as shovel face. Oh, God. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but I am so hyped for him in Batman. I'm yeah. I think, that looks really good. I think he'll do a great job. I just yeah. But yeah, of course, I, all of the jokes into, about uh, him being like the worst vampire ever like that it took woman. him X amount of years to turn into a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, no. I forget uh, her name, but whoever's playing Catwoman, like she's just oh, yes. um, I low key just think she's super hot though. But like also, I think she's a good Catwoman. Yeah, like what's her name? What is I would hit on her. Zoe I'm Kravitz. Zoe Kravitz. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm just like yeah. I was like yeah. Lena Lestrange. It's <laughs> Lena Lestrange. <laughs> the moment the moment that I know it, and Leanna doesn't like that's a rarity. It's weird yeah. because like, Zoe Kravitz's name is this. It's like it has like a fey charm on it because you've just told me her name. Ask me in an hour, and I'll be like, don't remember. Like I don't. I cannot retain her name. <laughs> Sadly, I just associate her so strongly with that. Uh, like one of the worst movies I've ever seen aside from JKR's politics that second Fantastical Beast movie is what I associate her with and how agonizingly terrible it was I never saw it so I'm, I'm out of yeah. that one I, I haven't seen more it about Max Fury Road I, was was very, I feel like I've, I feel like I've seen it because I've watched so many videos slaying it so that like I've seen enough clips of it that I probably have cumulatively seen the entire film <laughs> so like I've never <laughs> actually watched it yeah, having not seen any of the reactions to it and getting to walk into it cold was quite an experience because I just was like, what is going on? What yeah. am I watching? This I mean, like, so I, bad. I felt very, me like, mediocre about it. I Like, I didn't hate it, but I was like, mm. It was an entire film of backstories for characters we did not care about. And so, yeah. like, I don't know. Anyway, all that to say, Zoe Kravitz is a beautiful woman. And sadly, I always associate her with that movie. Having so I would welcome she, the chance to looks, associate her with something else. She looks great as Catwoman, if you look at the yes. clips. But having the seen trailer, the, like, like, very dark hair. Activate haired... by panic. It's happening. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I can't. Like, I'm like, oh, what? Uh. 
<laughs> she looks. She does. She looks really good for as but the <laughs> the very dark haired, very pale version of Robert Pattinson that is Bruce Wayne. Um, Mr. Northway mm-hmm. could look like yeah. that. He could play Mr. Northway. Yeah, yeah. plus twenty years. Mr. Northway's in his forties. This would be a good mini series, or yeah. movie it would or whatever. actually. I you would. I would BBC. probably enjoy this as a mini series. Yeah. Agreed. Hey, yo. You heard hey, it. And this one's BBC, already done. I think would do it well. I think BBC yeah. would make it better. They would. It would be. Yeah. yeah. Would be a six good. episode yeah. miniseries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This one. Uh, this one's already done. You don't have to worry about the source material running out before you, you know, get there. So, yeah. actually, given the age factor, um, I feel like Killian Murphy in Peaky Blinders has like Mr. Northway vibes, where Ooh, he's already like, "Yes, I do bad things, but I tell you that I do bad things," and you're like, yeah. "Just like switch out honestly, the hat." <laughs> you know what? Honestly, like I don't know. I realize I think like villains. I have a villain mind, so when I'm re- when I'm reading Mr. Northway's character, I'm like, "You could do worse." frankly yeah. like he's is he that bad like yeah he's kind of an asshole but i'm like you know he could do worse than an asshole but I his honesty like sort of just like a... totally sells me if he was like an asshole yeah. and was always lying to her i'd be like get out die mm-hmm. but he's yeah. always telling her the truth so exactly like, yes. yeah yeah he's like i'm not pretending to not be an asshole like that's kind yeah. of like that's my lane i'm in it i'm staying in it and i'm like you know he could do worse like Kaz brecker i'm like he's not the worst boyfriend you could find honestly. i mean like true. <laughs> true. So, um, yeah that's true it's yeah, Mr. Upsetting. Northway is just grown up Cass Brecker. Yeah, Killian Murphy, I think, is the right casting now that you say that. Um, I also, I think, yeah, I think he could say like dirty things to Emily in this adaptation and I would, I would buy it. So, <laughs> but I feel like he also says it with like the hint of a smirk where you're yeah. like, <laughs> okay. He's like her secret, her secret uh, fantasy dom daddy angle i feel like oh dear we're writing another book right now Mara. This yeah, is like yeah. I, this book. is this is me ad- adapting like if that's the casting the that's where i think it could go i'm book. just feeling like <laughs> listening to us talk about this book versus oh listening God. to alan talk about this book your impression of what you'll find in it is so vastly different oh, yeah. that's very true alan weigh in if you ever watch this uh who, who's your dream casting for mr northway <laughs> but i feel like matthew good would be the wizard not mr northway oh Mm -hmm. i don't even i picture i picture the the magic boy as very like fresh-faced like a chris evans type um but i feel like like even skinnier like matthew good uh, I, you know that guy who was in that war movie from, uh, he was in the that one war guy one. from the one war movie. <laughs> yeah, okay, that oh, narrows it down. Yeah, yeah. I, I am about to narrow it. Let me narrow it. Okay, he was in 1918 that movie, and he's like the main character. Oh, I never saw that. Oh, I never yeah, saw that. I don't. I think he's been in something else too. I know who yeah. you mean. I don't the know the main name. guy from that war movie. <laughs> he's yeah, also in the. He's also in the new movie that's about Ned Kelly, isn't he? The true Probably. history of the Kelly gang. It's like me and Mara don't watch did that, that many things. Come out? I have no Wait, idea. Wait, did that already come out? Because I oh, the shit, true history of the Kelly Gang. Yeah, that came ago. out. Yeah, I did yeah, post on it a while ago. I I'm gonna. Out. I'm looking it up right now, Amanda, so I can weigh in on this. Who yeah. Who is this boy? He looks like a British prep boy who has consumption. <laughs> no, he, he would be the the wizard. I picture him as the wizard guy, Giles. I can see it. I can see it. He's Giles to me. Oh yeah. Maybe I don't know. He's just kind oh, of there's like... a very unflattering picture of Benedict Cumberbatch that just came up. Someone in the comments said he they reminded Benedict Cumberbatch reminded them of Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. <laughs> I saw it in the comments a while I've ago. Seen, oh, I've heard that take before. I, I kind I of now that you say that, that. I mean, yeah. I think I can kind of see that. Yeah. Oh, the reason the is because Mr. Case. Northway is in fact Mr. Thornton from North and yeah, South. He, that is he why. really very much is. <laughs> oh, I could uh, see that. Donald Gleason. I could uh, definitely see that. Do we know who that is? No. Do I, yes. He's, yes? I do, no? but Bethany doesn't go for it. I'm, he's Hux looking, from Star Wars. Yeah, I'm looking it up. He's Hux from Star Wars. Oh. Okay. I could, yeah, I could see that. Um, I liked someone said James McAvoy. I could see that too. Yeah. I got none of us care who plays <laughs> Emily. Apparently, no. She, I mean, um, 
Yeah, just generic whoever. British lady. Like British lady. That's Giles. I mean, she's gotta everybody. be somebody who can go yeah. from like honestly gen- like, like Emily genteel Blunt. woman to being in battle. Like Emily maybe Blunt. like a um oh god. I she plays Hermione in the Harry Potter movies. What's her name? Emma oh, Watson. Yeah. Emma, Emma Watson. Watson. I could see like I Emma Watson that. doing that. Yeah. Because I could see her in a, a period drama mm-hmm. and then moving into more kick assery. Emily Blunt. That. I think, I think a Blunt's younger Emily Blunt. Now. Yeah. yeah. Younger Emily Blunt, maybe. Yeah. You're right. But again. Oh, there's a cat anyway. butt. <laughs> yeah, there's a cat. He's been purring and rubbing his head against this table for the last five minutes. So it's a good table. Oh, somebody said maybe. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You cast Richard Armitage and the girl from North and South. There you yeah, go. Yeah, and then you're just bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, well, like, okay, so you know, what about could... it? It would be interesting. What if they did cast? Because somebody said throw, what if they did the one who plays Eloise? Mm. Yeah, I could see that. I could, like, maybe like a little bit. That's kind of how I pictured her in my brain, mm-hmm. but a little older looking i think I well, florence, to, well uh, i think they age her down oh florence, like she florence is Drew. older but yeah florence, florence pew would, would be great would yeah yeah i like that casting florence pew or um, or demelza from or, uh oh god i can never say her name but the one who played um joe in little women Sorce ronan oh, oh. ronan Her, yeah. Yeah. She yeah she has the fieriness good. Pretty much so. We've just cast yeah. anyone from Little Women can be Emily. Yeah, we got Emma Watson, Florence yes. Pugh, or Saoirse Ronan. Yeah, Does that means that Timothy Little Chalamet. Women. Timothy yeah. Chalamet plays Laurie in it, so then I guess yeah. he has to play Mr. Northway. Yeah. No. Well, no, he's too no. old. He's, he, he's too. Is he could be the wizard. Oh, he could be the swap boy. Who was the swap guy? Was his name Malin? He could be Malin. Oh, he could oh, totally yeah, be yeah. Malin. Yeah, I could see that. Okay, let's just write the who or what is Sophia Coppola. Or he could be the little brother who gets the director of that movie. Like, but like alternatively, me. like <laughs> we so this suggesting uh, Demelza from Poldark as Emily. I do think that Aiden Turner would be a pretty good Mister Northway. Oh well, Aiden Turner would be a pretty I good like, thing. In my I book. feel like he's too sexy for Mister Northway though, because he's that would, that's, that's what would make true. Bethany <laughs> like it. Bethany would see it, be like, "Well, yeah, it's Aiden Turner. Like, well, I'm on I board get it now. Now that I see that it's Aiden Turner, sure, of course." <laughs> Like my mission in life. Like... My mission in life is to have a new adaptation of Wuthering Heights with Aiden Turner as Heathcliff. One because I think he'd be fantastic because he's the broodiest, broody, like swarthy looking guy. And then also, my mom would then finally like Wuthering Heights because she likes Aiden Turner. <laughs> well, what's not to like? I mean, someone agrees with me about Eloise from Bridgerton. Thank you. Like yeah. when I'm, I pictured her the same coloring. Mm-hmm. as emily like i pictured her like that but maybe mm-hmm. not the exact same face but yeah that's kind of loosely how i pictured her a bit i just realized that i was pretty much picturing kira knightley as emily and what's his face who plays darcy in the 2005 pride and prejudice as mr northway <laughs> so that's probably McFadden, part of why yeah. i like mr northway because that's kind of who i was picturing. it's it's mad pride and prejudice vibes and i'm still on <laughs> yeah. my pride and prejudice kick because i just read it last year and i'm just like i'm, I'm never not in it. my pride and prejudice kick there's just it never it won't it will be with you always amanda now that you have Yay. it it will yeah it will it's oh i read I, I yeah i'm sorry i'm just thinking about drug classes because it just came out but yeah i just read uh Agatha Christie, and I thought of Mara when I was doing it. <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Well, I would say that this is one that is probably one of the more successful picks. Yeah. We have another success. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I kept saying I thought this could be, and then I was like, oh, no, now that I've Don't said say, it, yeah. yeah. I hate it. Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't love it, but, like, I Bethany, liked get it. on board. Picture whoever you need to picture. Who do you like? <laughs> That's Mr. Northway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I would be I would be behind an adaptation of this because like it's got the building blocks. It's just his writing of it. I need more feeling. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But somebody so, was asking yeah. if I was gonna, if we were gonna unhaul it. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. unhaul mine. I'll keep mine. So I, I probably like I probably will. Yeah. I don't like. I'm pretty picky about what I keep, <laughs> and I don't like. If well, I you it, also live in a tiny New York City. I do. Apartment I live in New York live City in apartment. A, this is so a small like, book. It's not big. Well, it's thick. I mean, it, it, she's thick. She's thick. It's a, like it is a nice this paper. This is the copy thing. Paperback. It's like I feel like because I don't, I don't see myself rereading it because I didn't mm. love it enough for that. And 
I I like I'll pass it along to someone to buy from my indie bookstore at a used price and they'll really enjoy yes, it. It'll be great. That's true. I'm I'm very I am very picky oh, about what I get though. I could see that. He's got the the kind of squirrely the thing, vibes. Yeah. The thing yeah. is David Tennant, I I think he's a fantastic actor, but I have never understood why anyone finds him attractive. So like I don't either. Could he do the role? Well, he could, but yeah. I would not be into it. Oh, same. <laughs> Same. like i appreciate david Tennant. like i don't you know it's like a weird like i yeah i'm like you know when it came down to it yeah yeah I, i'd go for it but like i'm not like actively going for it you know what i mean <laughs> okay maybe just me <laughs> all adaptations Made, we're just we're trying people. to figure out a way to do it where we'd be into their romance so Honestly, i'm trying to pass somebody i was like uh, snape he's like snape. Feeling. he's professor yeah. snape the way they describe him but well, I, I think it was lucky for me I didn't pay too close attention to his actual description and was just picturing Matthew McVaden because that helped. But also, he is described basically as Mr. Thornton from North and South. He like, is. That now is that how he said that. Described. I'm like, yeah, that is that is very... I yeah. low-key wonder if Adrian Tchaikovsky watched North and South and was like, that guy. <laughs> That's what I'm describing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's entirely possible. Yeah. But see, I had the benefit when I read North and South of picturing Richard Armitage as Mr. Thornton because I knew about the adaptation. So. See, I haven't. North and South is like one of the Elizabeth Gaskell books I haven't read yet and I haven't seen the adaptation yet. So I think you will like the book. Yeah, Probably. I think I generally have adaptation. liked what I've read from her. So, yeah. 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 Yep. So, well, um, <laughs> for next time, I think we should uh, also announce that we are moving to quarterly. Right. Yes, Which I think we yeah we had mentioned, but yeah. And what are have we decided? Have you decided on? I did. Thing? I went back to my original one because I was flip flopping quite a bit. Okay. So um, I I ordered my copy. It has not arrived yet. So it's a uh, Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem by Amanda Collins. Oh, ooh, yay! Yay! Okay. Good. Uh, my, I read my... something from her in the past, and I enjoyed it. So I'm, oh, good. I'm hopeful. Yeah. So the I Lady's like Guide to Mischief and Mayhem. That. I feel like that was just included in Audible sale and I didn't get it. Because... I have a copy of it on my, I think I actually got it. I think I got a signed copy of it during the, um, the romancing the runoff auction. Oh, oh. nice. Okay. So I've been meaning to read that one. Yeah. I got the cart. sequel to it Yay. on Black Friday on sale. So I, was oh, just cool. like, well, I guess I should read the first one. <laughs> We're doing, yeah. It's in April, correct? April. So April 30th yes. is the last Saturday of the month. So it's basically, you know, all the quarters of the year, the first month of the quarter. So one, four, seven, seven and ten. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I haven't decided definitively what I'm picking yet. I'm pre-reading a book that I want to make sure Leanna will not hate it. I don't know if she'll love it, but I want to make sure it won't just like ruin her life. So (laughs) a lady's guide to mischief and mayhem by Amanda Collins. Yeah, uh, That's a little better. There you go. I only have it on my phone right now. I don't have it. I have a physical copy. They were supposed to, it was supposed to arrive like days ago and it just didn't. So I'm like, I don't know where it is. (laughs) I'm putting it in the chat. You know, it has like lady detectives and stuff. So it's not like. The title of it reminds me of the Mackenzie Lee books. And I like those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. It should be, hopefully it'll be fun. It'll be good. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Yeah. At least no one will get a rage boner over it. At least it'll just hopefully that, it'll isn't, be isn't one of Mackenzie well, Lee's books romance. Isn't one of Mackenzie Lee's books The Lady's Guide to yes. something something? Yes. Petty There's... Coats and Piracy or something. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. like that. We like ladies' guides in general. Just any kind of They're generally good. Yeah. So it should fingers be fun. crossed we like it. Yeah. If it's not, fun. it's short. So at least you're, it, it won't be a long suffering. <laughs> yeah. It should be fun. And yeah. then uh, and then we'll have Mara. And then I at some point we'll figure out a horror book we're going to read in Yeah, October. Bethany gets the, the Halloween. I I'm like, having the Halloween show. I was yeah. just like, this is, it's my We can't show. plan our costumes <laughs> until we know what we're reading. Yeah. I have a possible idea. So maybe I can. Quite early in the year. Yeah, it'll be <laughs> yeah, you in, you've got though. time. Yeah. It'll be April 30th is what. Yeah, but I, like, I, ha- I have a book that's like a tentative. Oh, I guess I should see if you guys have read it, though. I don't know. This this is very early, so I'll, we'll, I'll let you guys know. But I'm like considering Kill Creek by Scott Thomas. Oh, yeah. You said that last time. I have a copy yeah. of it, so I'm for it I've in that it. sense. 
I've heard of it, but I have not read it. It scared me. So I had to put it <laughs> down because I was, I forget. I think I had just moved into this house. Uh, and so like, I wasn't used to like all the noises and stuff. I could see So that. it was scaring me, but I think I, I could get through it now. I think it's about like a group of horror authors who go yeah. to a house in the woods and like are try- doing it as a pr- PR stunt where they're on social media or something while they're there. I don't it's know. A, it's it like sounds- a horror version of an isolated thriller, which I'm. Yeah. Playing. So like we could, it, it could be fun. So we'll see. That's my like maybe choice. Well, I have to think about it. <laughs> well, anyway. What would we dress up as? Uh, authors writers I guess <laughs> writers yeah. writers who've been killed by some ghost <laughs> frazzled writers we could dress yeah. up as frazzled. I could dress up as William Shakespeare yeah <laughs> there you go if you want like a little, a little goatee, that'd be so I mean cute. like there we I was to say modern writers are like what you just wear a t-shirt but like if you dressed up as like Oscar Wilde or as Mary Shelley oh, or as William Shakespeare yeah. like that you would could... be fun like like historical uh, that could be fun or Jane Austen yeah hmm. interesting yeah. We'll, see. we'll see we'll see I'll, I'll give it some thought <laughs> we'll let you guys know <laughs> what is, I don't even know what that would be he, I was going to say, he just dresses like an average Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh, man. Yeah. Somebody said, what is the name of that horror book? It's called Kill Creek by Scott Thomas. It's an indie title also, um, mm-hmm. but I've heard it's good. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll think about it. Part of me wants to pick like book. an erotic romance because I don't think we've done that yet. But I just what, I feel have like we be- not. No. 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 Bless your heart. <laughs> Can't look at this. No. <laughs> she's like, oh God. She's she's questioning every life choice she's made that's led her to basically thinking about, about thinking about what we've read before. Thinking about what we've read before, and now you're like telling me there's more. Oh, yeah. I think oh, the honey, more? closest. Mm, I'm trying to think. What would the closest be? Maybe the Mila Vane book might be the closest to yeah, full on erotica. But that has a lot of plot compared it to It has a yeah. lot of plot, yeah. Erotica yeah. is trying... mainly just just the fucking. Just mostly, mostly then, the fucking. A little, it's a little plot of it. A little bit of plot. And then like plot contrivances yeah. to get to the fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like, <laughs> yeah, that's like her like, worst no. nightmare. I, don't do that. Or maybe her. just like oh. one with less fluid sometimes they get very fluid There's just a i lot was of gonna say like we could also like, get into like kink stuff so i mean like we could I don't do like, like a the breeding fluids. kink it's like you're painting yeah. the walls with it at this point it's just it's too much <laughs> it's a lot it can go there um <laughs> you know it no. would it would be expanding your horizons liana it's true i feel like, I like my horizons made. where they are <laughs> mara we could do morning glory milking farm Oh my god, I would love that. I don't know. I don't if- even want to know because I'm already scared you, of the title. You know what the, <laughs> I mean, milking we, is in the title. And you know what kind of milking it is. Well, there's I, I yeah, but you know. Yeah. It's a really interesting <laughs> book actually. I haven't read it, but I have heard people say they actually I really liked it. It's like surprisingly it. wholesome for being based on such a um smutty kink. Yeah. It's also monster fucking so because he's a minotaur he's a minotaur and he has to be he has to be milked (laughs) 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 honestly you know what we all have a veto no one's had to use a veto but i'm feeling that veto's gonna get pulled (laughs) for that one I mean, it would be expanding your heart. If you want to approach it as like an experiment, Leanna, it would be a very interesting conversation. I don't think it's that long either. <laughs> no, it's like. Well, how no, long can you write it. about this now? How long can you write about this? No yeah. like, <laughs> hey, you know what? Sometimes you fall in love with the person who's job it is is to milk you for but how much is there to seed. say about that like it couldn't be a you know it's an interesting world it's actually no, a pretty it's interesting like, world. i think mara said it's like 150 pages it's something. like 150 pages it's yeah. not long yeah i mean you could do that i mean i kind of pages, love this right? idea but i'm not gonna make liana do that if she's <laughs> vi- vi- vehemently against it i just i mean it would make, make for an entertaining this, live show i will, will read this i won't veto it but you know what you will get from yeah, me I mean, in the life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I mean, that might be my tentative pick then if you're not going to veto it because I do I think mean, it'd be an interesting conversation. It would be interesting. It would be short. I'm also kind like... of grossed out by it low key. Well, I think that <laughs> so... the only way I would veto something is if it was this and it was 700 pages. Then I'd be like, I am no, not no, 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 hours no. of my life. It's like, like the thing that short, I like whatever, about it is that it's it. surprisingly sweet. Like I wouldn't have liked it if it, sweet it wouldn't milk. be remarkable if it was just just porn mm -hmm. but it's like it's the king <laughs> but it's also surprisingly like oh like they're kind of adorable together like you and said, he's all nervous to ask you said it's out. sweet and you've also said that it's pretty short so it's sweetened and condensed milk <laughs> it is <laughs> i mean it's pretty short and it's like uh it's it's a journey, man. I mean, I would be up it's for it. It's not even the craziest thing I've read by a long shot, but it's but it went yeah. viral on TikTok. So. It did. That which is where I've heard about it. So I I would be up for trying it out. It would make for a very entertaining live show, I feel like. I also I love how we're discussing this on Liana's channel this month. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Okay, well, that might be my tentative pick then, if nobody's going to be to it, because I do think it would be an interesting conversation. <laughs> it would. I don't know how much I'll have to say. <laughs> you can comment on the world building. Yeah. The world building of, like, the one room in which they bang and milk, like. No, <laughs> because it's, like, a whole, it's, it's, it's in a world, man. Like, it's, it's a whole There thing. are related books. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like a world where there everybody when knows that there are monsters, things? but there's like monster racism, basically. So are the other books, do they milk other things or is it just still no, minotaurs? The other books, there's like, a, so one of them, uh, one of the other books is Girls Who's Weekend and and they go to a um, an orc nudist colony. A nude orc <laughs> colony? Do you say orc? Yeah. Orc. Yeah. So they milk some orcs too? No, like, no, no, that's so not milking. They're, they're, that no, just, okay. just, it's yeah. just this is just... a very the min the milking is a very specific need for the minotaurs. Okay. Yeah. So not everybody's getting milk. It's not just a no. milking series. No. No. It's a it's just it's a monster like a, fucking it's series. A, yeah. It's a monster series. Yeah. 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 All I want is Brishan and Ildiko being <laughs> friends and also life companions. Well, see, this is the book that I'm reading as another possible read is that it's the same trope as Radiance, but in a Scottish werebear setting, like a historical Scottish werebear setting. So I'm reading, that's what I'm reading because I want to see, that was my thought is like, uh, yeah, I have range, man. Like I, I read it all. Um, but yeah, it was like, oh, this this sounds like Radiance's plot, but just in a more like paranormal, wacky setting. So I don't I want to tell you this like because this. I don't want to encourage you, but I love wolves. So there is also werewolves in this. So this I mean... could ruin wolves for me or this will be great. <laughs> oh, if there's like nodding, then I won't subject you to it. Oh, you explained oh, that to me once. No, I don't remember, no. but don't explain oh, it again. No, don't explain yeah. it again. That's... We're we're stopping that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I find. I find that. I. I mm. It's a. I mean, it's. They procreated. So people go just go there, you know, and. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I like. I. I think I have a lot of problem. I. I don't. I don't like the like. The consent ramifications yeah. of nodding. Yeah. No, I I just I it don't like, even want to think about it. I just it just I'm gonna kinda... use my veto on just the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> veto man is like I don't even want to. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah. want. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I I would also probably, too. We'll, we'll decide. I would also I probably like not be into something with not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Hey everybody, let's come have a monster fucking. Story. I really, really hope Alan watches this. Uh, <laughs> Alan, another recommendation I have for you is I did recently read a monster porn thing that was about a fey mothman. That was pretty interesting. So wait, okay. why do you think Alan should read this? Why not? Just to expose him to the world uh, of things that are out there. It was called Vice. Erotica. Or it was called Feed by Avita Vice. And it was like a gigantic bug. <laughs> 
This is a great time to come into the conversation. <laughs> I love how oh. someone's like, I thought Amanda was more of a rom- look. We are I, Amanda. And I, I read both romances. Have, we read not a lot of romance. Thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a whole look at it. Google it if you need to. Yeah, yeah. like there's a lot of romances out there that don't involve you know it's, nodding. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's something that I look for. If it shows up, I'm more like, okay, that's interesting, and I just kind of get through it. it. It wouldn't put me off a book. It's not something I would seek out, but yeah. Not but I've own. seen some shit, man. So yeah, in the tr- in the Kindle Unlimited trenches. <laughs> yeah, it's like on a on a list of things also that I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do. That is that's a fact. I did also come of age reading fanfic, so that probably also gives me like more space for things to get pretty buck wild in books. Of just like, yeah, I mean, I feel like I've read that fanfic at some point. I know you yeah. never will, Mara, but it is for this reason that I would be so curious what you thought of the sort of truth books. <laughs> They're bizarre. That was when I used my veto. I used I my veto when that came up because I don't want to read it. <laughs> it's too long. It's too much. There's there's a lot of sexy times in sort of truth. Very yeah. strange sexy times. I mean, are they like Joe Abercrombie with squelching? No. 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 They're okay. just... What? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes there's like sex magic. The wins is... <laughs> but what you say, pollen? Like pollen? She said wind? Temple of the Winds. It's like further into oh. the series. That one in particular is a bit. It's a ride. It, no, it they is. have a whole pollen thing in 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 kink. Smut. Oh yeah, that's a Look, fanfic. Term. I yeah. As somebody who was like very very like uncomfortable with steamy things just a few years ago like the fact you've that i'm a down for, way, i've Bethany. come a long way you've come a very long way i will give you that <laughs> morning glory milking farm might take you to places that you didn't know existed and we'll find out i would like that i feel like is enough like i i could do that but like there's still things that i'm like mm, no <laughs> And that's fine. Consent is a big deal. You don't have to like to read it. You don't have to. That is, yeah. Yeah. There you no, go. I'm like, consent is like a big, th- I, that for me yeah. is like the biggest thing, honestly, like that yeah. will put me off things. This is why the <laughs> only person who does darker stuff that like, I think I can read kind of is Katie Roberts because she prioritizes consent so heavily. Yeah. I don't like Katie I, Roberts that much. I, I keep trying and I keep not I loving it. Shauna also, I, I understand that that, doesn't make a lot of sense but it does in my world so (laughs) right that's that's my line a lot of it has to do with how long things are like i just don't want to if i if it's buck wild i'll read 100 or 200 pages of that but i'm not going to read 500 pages of it (sighs) anyway i don't know how we got all the way here i don't know we all you know this was I'd say a sick, maybe. Yeah, it was like second. Guns like of the Dawn by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Guns Tchaikovsky. of the Dawn no, by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I was going to say, like, the way that we can, there's no nodding, there's no milking, there there's is no, no banging of any milking. kind. No, um, there's not. There's no I do feel like this there was no, one of the There are the no most... were bears, no werewolves, no were things. There's yeah. wizards. There it's are the wizards. Horror for it, let's be honest. I would, I, you know. You know what? If there were werewolves, I would, I would, I would accept werewolves in this. I would take that. Yeah. If it was like a a division of the military. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, that would be kind of cool, actually. If they were like Mm -hmm. sort of like the the SEAL team of maybe she could like be in a love quadrangle with one of the werewolves. Yeah. Why can't they just be cool wolves in battle? (laughs) Why do we have to fuck them? Oh hi! One, one, you know, it's like ch- it's a, it's a. Maybe we ooh. should mute this for a minute. <laughs> that that he has headphones on. It's fine. Oh, it's okay. okay. Yeah, okay. it's like a Ch- Chekhov's werewolf. Like if if it's on the mantle, you want to fuck it. That's just how it is. <laughs> I'm never going to the zoo with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're good i have Hi. headphones on so it's okay. not like oh, yeah 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 because all of a sudden i was like oh no i oh, waited yeah. to say that until she confirmed that she had her headphones did on. you have fun you can say hi 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 did you have fun sledding it snowed Ooh. a lot so oh, okay nice yes we got a sprinkling <laughs> but we didn't get a full <laughs> we got like several inches so they were out doing that all right yeah. Well, like well, usually when inches come up in these chats, it's not for snow. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Just you wait 
Ken Ray Higgins. Uh, anyway, we probably should end this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that's our cue. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, this was this was fun. <laughs> yes, this is good. Okay. Thank you so for like, picking it, Lena. Yeah, oh, my absolute pleasure. I'm just so among relieved. The more, that among didn't among the it. more successful of our books, I think. So. I agree. Yes. I agree. So we can all yeah. thank Alan. Yes. yes. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> So and we'll then, see you yeah, guys so back in April three months. Three on months. Amanda's, April channel. On Amanda's channel. It'll be fun. Yay. Yay. All right. Cool. All right. Have a nice Bye, weekend. Bye, guys. Bye.